Welcome to this week's five minutes of revelation and today in those five minutes I want to encourage you with a great verse from Colossians 1 and that's verse 11 because here God says you are strengthened with all power according to his so according to God's glorious might for the attaining of all steadfastness and patience joyously. I think this verse itself already sounds great. It's talking about power, it's talking about God's glory, it's talking about His might. But if I just read it like this, it doesn't really tell me what God is trying to get along to me. It sounds nice, but what does this mean for me right here and right now? And because I asked myself that question, I went back into the original text the same way I did last week and checked out a few words and all of a sudden this became clear to me. So first of all I checked out what power means because God says I am strengthened with all power so I need to know what this power is. And power in the original text is the word dynamis, that's where dynamite comes from. And it means all ability, the ability to do all things. It's the ability and the opportunity to do everything. So it's not that you can do it, it's also that you have the opportunity to do it. And if you can do it and you have the opportunity, the only outcome is success. And that's what your outcome should be. Your only outcome should be success because you have this power. And then God himself in other places is called Dynamis. Well, we are strengthened with his power according to his might in glory. So what is this might? Might means the presence of power. So before we had power and now might means the presence of power. It's not so much the power in working when it's producing something, when it's going to work. No, it's just the presence of it. That means this power is here. It's around you and this power is on you. But you need to receive it you need to let it in and then you need to release it. And that's how this power starts working. This is what this might means. It means the presence of power. It's around you, it's there in any circumstance you're facing, but it's up to you whether you receive it and release it. And when you release it, it's going to work and it's gonna produce those opportunities and the ability to do all things. And then the only outcome will be success. Well, according to his might, in glory and then I also checked out what glory means and glory means God himself and it includes everything that is amazing about God and that reveals him doesn't this sound great glory includes everything that is amazing about God and it reveals him and you are equipped with this power with this ability to do all things so after I got the definition of all those words, I put them all together in one sentence so it's easier for me to understand and I think it'll help you too. And this is what I wrote down, that I am equipped with the ability to do all things. This is what this word power meant. According to the presence of God's power, that means I need to receive it, I need to let it in, and then I can release this power, I can release this ability to do all things. And it is this power that includes everything that is amazing about God and that reveals Him. So that means everything that is amazing about God is in you, in this power, with you receiving this power. Everything that is amazing about God comes in you and now everything that is amazing about God can come out of you. Can you even understand what this means? Everything that is amazing about God. And when this comes out, of course, it will reveal God and it will glorify God. And that is the power that is transferred onto you if you simply believe it. This is what I wrote down and now this verse is a lot clearer to me. Now I know what this means for me right here and right now. So if this was hard for you to understand or if you couldn't write it down quickly enough, I also put it in the description so you can check it out there. You can go through it again. You can study it out for yourself. And I want you to take this and make it practical in your life. Get this revelation and make it practical because with this, you will not only have the ability to do all things, you will also have the opportunity to do all things. And then success is the only outcome. And you are equipped 
with everything that is amazing about God. So take this with you. Be blessed by that. Also, don't forget to read your chapter a day. And I will see you again next week.